Bing. Bing da do, I'm feeling cool. Everybody looks like a fool. Good morning, young males and females of the human species. It is your creator speaking. From heaven, I have come to free you from all the pain that you are feeling. Would you like to come take a step into my basement? Yeah? Come on, friend. Let me help you. Take these magical pills and start seeing so many shiny things on the walls. Now, I don't know what that was, but I do know what this bad boy is. The Incredibles. Something I would describe my testicles. The Incredible. Both of them. Slap dap, hiddly dap. An incredible film. Something that is yet to be replicated, in my opinion, in terms of pure ecstatic cinema. Oh my god. What this film <clears throat> did to me as a child is incredible. I remember watching this so many times. I remember watching it once. And that cliffhanger is a fucking killer when the mole man comes. Because I was like, holy shit, there's a second one. I've just never seen it. And this was like when I was seven. You know what I mean? This was when I was a little baby. I remember we were watching it and it was tea time. And I was helping my dad wash up and I was watching the end of it. And I was like on like, I don't know what I was using. Like some sort of piece of technology that was available to me when I was seven or eight. That wasn't to do with an Apple product. And I was like, where the fuck is the second one? It must be available. And I remember going on like a dodgy website. Like and finding it. And I was like, holy shit. I found it before anyone. No one else has seen this shit. And then yeah, I actually clicked on it. And it was just like one of them things where you had to sign in and give him your bank card and shit and get hacked and turns out um i did get hacked and lost everything and i am in three billion pounds of debt before i'd even opened a bank account so it wasn't great when trying to uh you know get my life started but in my opinion it was well worth it because the incredibles is incredible so today i found this cute little trend this cute little um what do you call it a thread I'm with the kids, bro. A thread. A Twitter thread. Of all the weird shit in The Incredibles, I've got a few other things as well. So strap yourselves in, buckle in, grab your popcorn, maybe, you know, put your dick away. I know I'm very nice. But come on, all right? This is a kid's show. Let's see what The Incredibles are doing. But Mr. Incredible saves a man from killing himself. Now, I don't know if by playing this, I'm going to get sued the shit out of. But, like, I hope they don't. You know what I mean? Like, come on, don't sue the shit out of me. So they save him, right? And then they go on to this. And this is crazy. So they write a newspaper. For saving someone who apparently didn't want to be saved. He gets in trouble for saving this bloke, for ruining his death. You know what I mean? They're talking about suicide. I didn't even think about it as a child. I was like, what the fuck do you mean suicide? This is not suicide. He's just trying to fly. Now, this is one of my favorites. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. <laughs> I don't know why the f Shit. Sorry, I've had a bit of a bad day today. I'm just tired. My Wi-Fi's been a shit. Mate, just please. Please. I'm just gonna fucking kill myself. What the fuck is going on, Richard? Oh, fucking gimp. Absolute fucking gimp. Twat. Fat fucking freak of fucking nature. Fat oaf. Fat fucking little skanky, stinky, sweaty armpit fuck. Oh, and then we. <sighs> and then if we uh, go back to this. Experts, Bob! Exploiting every loophole, dodging every obstacle! They're penetrating the bureaucracy! Did I do something illegal? No. Are you saying we shouldn't help our customers? The law requires that I answer no. We're supposed to help people. We're supposed to help our people! See, so he's trying to do the good thing with the insurance people, this little midget. Sorry, you can't say that anymore. I should be arrested. This is the best part. Get over here now. Get over here now. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. He got away. Good thing, too. <laughs> You were this close to losing your oh. So, that man's dead. I don't care if it's a cartoon or not, bro. That man is in a coma. All right, that 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 little little dude is absolutely turned to cheesecake, bro. He is turned. He's dead. Elastigirl thinks he's, she's being cheated on. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, my God. And then, yeah, you forget that he's killed. He's killed all the superheroes. Killed. Killed killed it's literally hitler 2.0 but he's got ginger hair and not a cool tash elastigirl tells the kids real life bad guys kill children they won't exercise restraint because your children they will kill you if they get the chance Do okay 
God damn, no need to scare me like that. That's crazy, like, yeah, you kind of forget, like, that's it. That's a human skeleton, bro, like, this is a kid's film. Oh, booty slap. Sexual assault. I love sexual assault. Only against men though, not against women obviously. It's wrong against women. <laughs> I found a spicy fucking meme, bro. You're gonna love this shit, boys, right? Honestly, if you're not into like, you know, naughty words, shut your ears for two seconds. We can all do it. Anything you want to tell your father about school? Uh, um, I watched a bit of Skibidi Toilet. Dash was edging in class and busted all over the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I fucking love it. I love it. No, Bob, that's bad. No, Bob, that is bad. And busted on the teacher. What, you failed? He was edging the whole class in math. Nobody saw me. Why you went the whole math class? Whoa. And that must have been massive. How many gallons do you think you let out? We are not encouraging this. I'm not encouraging. I'm just asking how fast you... Honey! <laughs> Oh my god, that was horrible. I can't believe you don't want to go to your own son's graduation. It's not a graduation. He's moving from the fourth grade to the fifth grade. It's a ceremony. It's psychotic. They keep creating new ways to celebrate mediocrity. And it's kind of true. You know what I mean? Like, everyone gets an award these days, bro. There's no competition because everyone wins. You get the, you know, the best top goal scorer, the least goal scores. You get the most substitute appearances. You get the least substitute appearances. You get the person who was there. You know, you get the best cheerleading awards. You get the best fucking... The person who made the best chicken pies at the end of the... You know, you get everything. You just need to be a bit meaner to people, I think. A bit more brutality. Look, I'm going to leave you with this. I found this on Reddit, so be careful. But basically, how dark it is, it, you know, brings up topics as, you know, some go from midlife to crisis and feeling useless, a bit of infidelity and death, and a few more other things. You know, he hides behind the corpse to say. He hides behind the dead body of his friend. Not some random dead person. So apparently they're friends. His friend, if you pay close attention to the scene when Mr. Incredible was going through the computer you see some of the soups supers even eliminated the omni droids to which they were promptly murdered by their successors they were also audio file release of the dead it kind of makes the deaths even more tragic it does kind of it's sad isn't it all the all the dudes died bro all the dudes died honestly though the incredibles is truly amazing i love B bro edna's a woman i mean a man edna hey yes welcome hey, my name is edna hey what up frozone look at that i recognize her though who does she play oh yeah granny's peach tea that's how i know it <laughs> granny peach tea <laughs> and gets blown up yeah i remember i remember that i really do i can't believe i'm i've you know the funniest thing i said how great the incredibles one was i'm not actually seeing the second one i know 2018 that's what four five six years ago six god damn years ago I seriously need to sort my life out. What is going on? I've literally accomplished nothing. My life is done. My life is over. Ugh, God, what a sad life I've lived. I need to literally just go fucking retire. I'm only 20-something as well. Like, what's my life become? My God, how could this happen? They changed voice actors, bruh. Anyway, guys, this is over. Look, Jason Lee. Well, which the f who the fuck is he? Which one is he? Is he is he is he him or is he him? My name's Earl. I have seen that. Wasted time. But yeah, guys, look. I'm not really sure what the point of this video was. I'm not really sure what the point of my life is. Let's put it like that. One thing I will leave you guys with is a bombshell. I was three when the first one came out. Now I am 20. My life is crumbling. Everything around me is crumbling. And yeah, mate, even, even Jonathan Banks is in it. Fucking Bob's in it. Ah! I might go watch this tonight. Right, boys, I'm going to go watch this tonight and get back to you in the morning. Go follow my Twitter or my Discord and I'll put my opinions in it. All right, thank you. Good night.